Nobody pretends that working in any branch of the textile industry is a bed of roses. The work is, by its nature, monotonous. The financial rewards can never be very great. This is a typical process in one of the largest Belfast linen works. The flax is being hackled, a sort of fine combing. All the raw material used is imported. The northern farmer no longer finds it profitable to grow flax. Its graceful blossom no longer enlivens the Ulster landscape. When the hackling is over, the flax comes out clean and beautifully sleek, the color of golden hair. Everywhere in the hackling rooms, there is a fine insidious dust. This is the type of thing that makes young people hesitate to go into the industry today. Yet, conditions are not as bad as they used to be. Although these places still reverberate and smell like the dark satanic mills of the Industrial Revolution, these girls are far better off than their mothers before them, thanks to trades unionism. The Irish Secretary of the Amalgamated Transport and General Workers Union is Senator Norman Kennedy. My union has been in textiles since, oh, since, nine, since 1900. But, uh, Organization was uh, not good until the war. And after the war, with the influx of new industries here, uh, the union was able to, uh, with a new approach, the union was able to enforce various concessions from the employers. One of the greatest concessions was that weavers were paid for waiting time. Prior to that, a weaver went in, even she was there to work, there may have been no work for her. She got nothing. She stood all week, she came out with nothing. But once we forced the employers to pay a certain amount for waiting time, they began to think as to how to improve their process, not to have to pay. And since that time forward, I think, dates the increase in organization and, in fact, the mechanization in the trade. And today, in the linen trade, we have something like 24,000 workers uh, uh, organized within our union. You remember yourself a lot about the human element. You worked yourself as a linen worker. Yes, I worked for 20 years as a loom overlooker in the linen industry. At that time, conditions were very bad. There was no competition for labor, and the employers were able to pick and choose, and the result was uh, low wages and uh, a very little humanity. Were hours worse? When I started, there were no holidays at all in the industry. You had holidays during expense. There were no statutory holidays paid for. In fact, you worked uh, 52 hours a week, then reduced to 48. And when I left the industry, it was still 48. What was the atmosphere like that you worked in? more like a jail than it was a place of work. Why so? I think it was mainly due to the fact that uh, there was great competition for, for sale of linen, and they're working on very narrow margins. And most of the employers at that time were small family concerns who hadn't sunk any money in their business. And of course, haven't taken it all out and put nothing back, they were finding the pinch. The family business with paternalism still hangs on to this day, does it not? Well, family businesses have uh, more or less gone out of the industry. There's a few left, but the majority of the linen trade now, are the majority of it is uh, large units.